Right then, um, filling a fixed build reel, a few key elements um, to get the best performance out of your reel and out of your fishing. Um, we've stripped the reel back, the same as the multiplier, it's going to take about 250 yards of line. Got the backing on that, you don't want to be filling it up with loads and loads of line that's never going to see the light of day. And we've fastened the backing to the main line with a standard double grin or not. And obviously we're, we're loading the line with the label up um, and that will help prevent your line twist. Um, it's when you very finally important, got it loaded, Matt, isn't it? Yeah, it is very, very important, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't want to be coming off clockwise, it must be coming off the spool anti-clockwise. Because if it doesn't come off in an anti-clockwise manner, um, you get create a lot of line twist and as you're actually reeling in, you'll see your line twisting um, and it'll bunch up on your spool. And it's also worth mentioning, Pete, with a fixed spool reel, um, it's more importantly not to overfill a fixed spool reel. Very much so, yeah. multiplier, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you see it, you don't want to piling all over the beach as soon as you pick your rod up. Yeah, because what happens, the coils go loose on the spool and they just fall off on their own, don't that's they? That's it, only catching a bit of wind, can't it? It winds up down the beach. Yeah, that's a, right. A proper nuisance. Okay, so that's the reel finished about now. So the key points are to remember, label up, um, keeping the tension on yourself as you're reeling it onto the reel and don't overfill the reel. Right. Get it nice and nice and way. Oh, 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 you were lucky. Yeah. Well done, Joe. Very lucky. He said he had a slightly bigger dogfish, and he was right. It's actually a full us. It was lucky the rotten bottom worked then, wasn't it? It was indeed. Look at that. What's he about four pound? About that, Joe. Yeah. Lovely looking fish. Bit of peel of crab. Yeah, looking for a ras, I was. <laughs> looking for a ras. Just shows you can never tell what you're going to catch in it. That's, that's why you're so good, Joe. And you caught it on the rotten bottom rig, which is pretty useful. Yeah. Lead's gone. What's the difference between this and the small bullass that uh, we caught a little bit earlier on? No, the dogfish we caught earlier on, which is the lesser spotted dogfish. This is a greater spotted dogfish. It, it grows up to nigh on 20 pounds, these can go in. Really? A, and the normal dogfish can go about four pound maximum. It's about what? About four pound, I suppose? About four pound, it'll be, yeah. Uh, yeah, lovely. Mm.